Well, the White House and Israel are seemingly at odds over the scheduling of meetings between top officials, this time to discuss the situation in Iran. Netanyahu, the Israeli prime minister, posted a video earlier this week claiming the U.S. was withholding military aid. White House Press Secretary Corinne Jean-Pierre fired back, saying, quote, we genuinely do not know what he's talking about. White House correspondent Nancy Cordes has more. So, Nancy, uh, we've been talking about Netanyahu fighting with members of his own cabinet, with the military, now with uh, the closest ally to, the United, or to Israel. Where does the relationship between the White House and Israel stand right now? Obviously, things are pretty fraught, uh, and they, they only got more so this week when Netanyahu released that video uh, arguing that the White House was slow walking. Uh, it sounded like multiple shipments of weapons to Israel, and that was making Israel's job fighting this war much harder. Uh, White House officials, as you pointed out, Lana, uh, starting with the White House press secretary, said, we simply don't know what he's talking about. There's only one shipment that has been delayed. It's been in the, the news for weeks. Everybody knows about it. It's this shipment of 2,000-pound bombs. Uh, we're still in discussions with Israel over that shipment. But everything else is being processed on time and as planned. So they said they didn't know what he was talking about. Then the Israelis said uh, that the White House was calling off a, a meeting here in the U.S., with top Israeli officials over Iran. Uh, the White House once again said, we don't know what they're talking about. But actually, our Margaret Brennan is reporting that that meeting did get postponed because U.S. officials were frustrated uh, about what the Israelis were doing and saying. Uh, it's important to point out that Secretary Blinken himself is meeting with some uh, top Israeli officials this afternoon, the strategic affairs minister, the national security advisor. So communication goes on, even though um, the conversations have been pretty rocky this week. And what was interesting, Nancy, is I think it was last week at the G7, Biden was asked questions by the press, and he mentioned um, that the administration is prioritizing air defense capabilities for Ukraine over other nations. I think he may have said something like, everyone else can wait. Mm -hmm. What right. is behind that decision? We're also curious about the White House's response to Putin's tour of Asia. Right. So uh, what White House officials are telling us this morning is that these Patriot missiles are being reprioritized, being sent to Ukraine, even if they were due to go out to other countries, because Russia has been focusing on, on bombing not just the Israeli, uh, the, sorry, the Ukrainian military recently, but also civilian targets and energy targets. Uh, they said Russia has accelerated its attacks against cities and civilian infrastructure, and they're trying to destroy Ukraine's energy system. They said, therefore, Ukraine desperately needs more air defense capabilities as soon as possible. They said those shipments should start going out in the coming weeks and that countries are doing the same and that U.S. allies that were supposed to be receiving shipments of those Patriot missiles have all been alerted that they are going to have to wait. Uh, and Nancy, we're just about a week away from the presidential debate between President Biden and former President Donald Trump. You're there at the White House. What are you learning about uh, how they're preparing? Well, we're not going to see much of the president for the next week until that debate happens. That's pretty unusual that a week would go by without uh, much on the president's public schedule. That's because he's holed up with his advisors, first in Rehoboth at his home there, and then later today he's going to be heading to Camp David, where even more advisors are going to be joining him. Uh, you know, these, these debates, and first debates in particular, can really set the tone. And so they are going to be prepping in private, all week long, uh, they say that we should expect some surprises next week. Uh, not much detail about what those surprises might be, uh, but obviously you want to, you know, you want to go into these things with lots of options since you don't know what the questions will be and you don't know what your opponent will say. Oh, and Nancy, I know we're out of time, but is there a response from the White House to Putin's tour of Asia? Well, uh, the White House has said that it only shows how uh, how isolated. Putin is when, uh, you know, he's, he's there walking hand in hand with uh, the North Korean dictator. So they're using it as an example of just how isolated he is on the world stage that one of his closest allies is a North Korean dictator. All right, Nancy Cordes for us at the White House. Thanks, Nancy. Thank You're you, welcome. Nancy.